Well, hi. <laughs> Today's video will be how to start selling on eBay. Duh, a lot of mine are like that. So I care about you people, and I want you to do well. So, I'm going to show you one thing that I found in my garage. I had a video on it, but it got deleted. Um, one thing I found in my garage that I sold on eBay, and if I had just been... I've been starting out, then this is how I would have started rolling my money to make more. So when you're first getting started, most people, and what I recommend is find stuff around your house. I read somewhere that like most Americans have at least 20 to 30 items laying around in their house that they could sell online and make extra money. Why don't you do that? I mean, don't do that because I don't want the competition, but I'm just kidding. Go on, do it. Make yourself a living. Make yourself some side money change your family tree selling online. So the thing I sold was this. This is one of those evil AK-47 gun stock. This is the, the butt stock. This is the part that came on the rifle. Um, I don't have the rifle anymore. It was a Romanian Wasser 10, if any of you gun, gun guys know that. And I took this off and I put a more modern polymer stock on it. This was back in the days when you could get these rifles for like 300 bucks. But back in uh, a couple years ago, Obama banned the importation of these surplus guns, and um, the price went up. So anyway, I found this laying around in my garage, and I listed it um, probably eight days ago, eight, nine, maybe nine days ago. Listed it for $45.99 free shipping, and it sold yesterday. That's why I have to do this video before I ship it. It sold yesterday for $35 bucks free shipping. Um, put it on the scale right here. It's 15.2 pounds, so depending on how much the poly bubble mailer weighs, I could show you. Uh, put one there, put one there. So this will ship first class because it's right at 15.8, which means you round up to 16 ounces, which 16 ounces and below, not 16.1, 16.0 and below. And ship at first class rate, which at the most this will cost five ninety eight to ship. So you figure thirty five minus twelve percent is somewhere around thirty three for fees, five dollars a ship, somewhere around twenty seven dollars profit. Now, sure, I bought this at one point and I spent money on it, but I'm telling you, this was probably two thousand eight that I did this. So that's a long time ago. It's thirteen years ago. Thirteen years this has been sitting, and I just earned about between 26 and $28 um, revenue or profit or reportable income I have to tell the government about um, for a piece of junk that a lot of people will throw away. I bet a lot of you can find things like this, maybe not exactly like this, at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, all sorts of stuff, neighbor's garage, whatever the heck, maybe your own garage, you can find stuff like this that you can sell. So now you take that $27 and you bank it and you go to the next garage sale or you go to the thrift store and use that 27 to then turn it into maybe 50 and then you take that 50 to 100 and 100 to 1000 and on and on and on until you grow your business and you can do it without a lot of money out of pocket it's pretty damn easy i don't know why more people don't do it i think that um the man has got us all scammed into thinking that we need to do this traditional nine to five factory worker. If you think about it, we're all factory workers. We don't work in a factory, but we all are going to a place for the most part doing the same tax tasks over and over and over. And we do that for 20 to 30 years, most likely 30 for a lot of us. And then if you're super duper lucky, you get to retire at like 65, 67 and spend I don't know. Hopefully you took care of yourself because the average um, average lifespan is like 74, 75. So let's say you retire at 67 and you lived the average. Cool. You have eight years of freedom. You just worked 30 years and now you have eight years of freedom. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a fun thing to me. But somehow we're all bamboozled into doing it. Like that's the only thing out there. Guys, with technology, with the social media, with all of this stuff that the internet brings, come on. We don't have to work in factories anymore. They got us tricked. They got us bamboozled. Break out of the modern caste system and stop being a serf. And go get you some. Thanks for watching.